You're watching RVT Rashid's Teletube, serving nations worldwide. Up uh, next on RVT, Rashid's Video Tube, it's the Rashid and Jan Show. Following that is Rashid Cyber Tube. It's that season of all seasons once again. And as Shison lingers on, let us share and care and enjoy amazing Rashid entertainment that's found only here. On RVT, where is Rashid all the time? You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletoon Worldwide. Where is Rashid all the time? You're watching Rashid's RVT. Hello everybody, this is Rashid. And I want to personally thank you so much for so many YouTube subscribers. And together with the millions of views on my Google page, I think it's safe to say we're well on our way, huh guys? Thanks for making RVT so successful. So I tell you what, you keep doing what you do, and we'll do the same round here. Deal? Deal. So relax. This is RVT, Rashid's video tool. Where's Rashid all the time? Oh, what an atmosphere. You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletoon Worldwide. Where is Rashid all the time? Look on your social devices. It's a bird. It's a plane! No, it's Rashid's Mansion's Mouse. And I want to help you guys get a good night's rest. Take a look. Ugh, my back! Ugh! Oh, Ugh! Oh. Why should you guys suffer with stiff back, achy joints, and so on from a worn out mattress? There are hundreds of affordable mattress dealers in your area. And all is needed is you. Reliable mattresses that fit your comfort level. Spring design style, chic and firm. Thank you, Rashi Mattress Mouse. Anytime, an RET ad is worth two in a hole. And speaking of ads, don't forget about this one. And size your bedding up for comfort. A new mattress and a good night's rest awaits you. Just go to www.mattress.com. That's www.mattress.com. Uh, anyway! Why is delicious hot oatmeal so good for so many families? 
Oatmeal is rich in protein. A breakfast with delicious oatmeal with milk and sugar for a family of four provides as much total protein as six average eggs. As much total protein as 18 pieces of toast. And almost as total protein as 18 strips of bacon. That's why your family get that wonderful stick to the ribs feeling with hot oatmeal. That wonderful feeling of well-being with only one minute of actual cooking time. So be sure your family get the protein they need with the delicious hot breakfast of hot oatmeal. Just go over to www.oatmeal.org. That's www.oatmeal.org. Put it on this, spread it on that, a little on this, and a whole lot of that. Everything's better with butter. Whip it on this, a little on that. Smear it on this, and square it on that. Everything's better with butter. Now you can square it up with butter or margarine. Electrify your taste buds with the rich and satisfying taste of butter. Whip it on this, graze it on that. Square it on rice, now that's... Where is that? Everything's better with butter. Now get to the grocers and square it up. Also in spray style to go easy on bread. Not long ago, in a small town. Yeah, like I was saying, looking for a new job won't solve a goddamn thing. Now, I've been at this job for three years. And it served me well within this time. Now, those ditches aren't for now. As long as you don't swim in the water, Raj. From the creator of Road, Forbidden Forest, and Rashi and the Beanstalk comes Rashi's newest creation. Hi Candy, two friends out for a night of fun, only they quite didn't make it to the fun because something happened. We interrupt this program to bring you this RVT special news report. Now live from RVT headquarters, here's Michael Norway. Good morning, and capping off this special report in this hour, well it happened again, another UFO sighting, only this time, not only is it local, it's a tragic. Last night, just after 11 o'clock p.m., a young man left his job with a friend for a little leisure time, only to end up with one of them being, as he says, abducted by a UFO. Rashid, a dishwasher and floor keeper at the Sands Pub in Roch Villa, left the business with his friend Vincent, only sadly, Vincent, in Rashid's words, was abducted by the spacecraft. Now, while we don't have any specific information of what actually happened at Rusty Road, the case is under investigation as we speak. Over here, Rashid! Hey, Rashid, over here! Rashid, over here! Rashid, how you feeling? Everyone get back! Something just ain't right. What do you mean? Well, let's just say maybe I'm the suspicious sort. Maybe not, but Tom will tell. Follow me. Oh. You do believe me, don't you, Miss Beckingham? I know you for as long as I knew Vince, and I, I consider you both of you my son. Don't let me come from behind here. I swear to God, sir. Thumb. Do you believe? No. 
Luigi believe. Coming soon. Now you're gonna tell us what happened and you're gonna tell us the truth for not telling you what happened, okay? It, it, that's what happened. I can't change what happened. That's 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 You're watching RBT, Rashid's Teletube Worldwide. Where is Rashid all the time? You're watching Rashid's RBT. You're watching RVT, an international broadcasting station. Controversial. Defiant. Supernatural. Or subliminal are just a few discussional qualifications that's found on Rashid's RVT documentaries, sharply enlightening your environment around you. A fascinating look at the world around us. Hi, I'm Rashid. Whether newsworthy or not, join us as we tackle some of the most questionable topics of our time on Rashid's documentaries. Now streaming on RVT. Yeah, I could cover that. You're watching RVT, Rashid's Teletube, serving nations worldwide. And now, enjoy the show. Welcome everybody, welcome everybody to RVT. This is RVT, Rashid's Video Tube. Take a joke to arm JC, Rashid's Music Box Center. And I'm Rashid Armand, coming on live on social media, Google+, YouTube, Instagram, and other social media platforms. We're going through a major fucking heat wave, and I told y'all my hand is on. I'm a, I like I like this for the background. 
over and over again with Lonnie Anderson. I like this. It keep us in an art mood around here. That's what I like about it. Everything crooked around here, and I don't and I don't know why the thunder sounded like that, and I don't even care. And that's a weird thunderstorm, uh, thunder crack up there, and uh, we don't know what it means, but um, it's just a weird thunder crack in the sky, and there's a lot of weird things going on around here. I had some shows coming up, guys. I had thumbprints. Guys, y'all going to love thumbprint, all right? That's a movie that I'm working on, that we we working on. And it'll be up very soon. I want you to stay close. Because you guys going to really enjoy it. What y'all seeing is a result from a heat wave. Because it's the truth. It's the truth. So glad that you guys are here. I can't get enough of this um this uh, animation stuff. Did y'all see? Um, I know on my page y'all saw. Uh, Samantha. And I have big plans for her, man. I swear, I have huge plans for her. But here's the thing about animation and stuff. It just takes time. To, to put together and must and put and just put everything in order. It just takes time. Now you got me thinking about the But um It takes time, you know what I mean, guys? It takes time. Sometimes you can't really 
you don't want to, you know, you want to rush stuff. When you, when you look at construction workers, and they working on something, sometimes it takes a long, you, you come back a year, you walk by that same area, and they still working. You know, sometimes it takes a, a long time, man, but when you're careful, it comes out the right way when you're very, very careful. And, and anything that's worth doing is worth doing right. And that's, pay, you got to be patient. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. You know, all of these sayings make sense. I mean, you really got to really take your time. Especially when it comes to cartoon and the animation. You really got to take your time. Because I want to, I really want to bring a message to around RVT. I want to bring a strong message around here. I don't just want to just come on and entertain and then that's it. That's not the method around here. Because that, it doesn't work if I do it that way. The message is y'all got a place to come for something that's different. You know what I mean? That's the message. And it's not dealing with you know, getting profit on RVT or or, or making money on RVT and shit like this. It ain't about none of that shit. It's about having a, some place to go to. Because you just don't want to deal with the same old thing. And, and y'all see this is my world around here. All cartoonish, little simple ass shit. And um, this stuff makes us happy around here. You know? It makes us happy, man. Yeah. What year was this anyway? Do you know? Looks like eighties. Life sucks, cause you know they old now, and you know I'm older from when I when I first fucking saw this. If I saw, I probably saw it before. I watched everything on television. How you think I know how to do RVT the way I do? Because I watch television so much, you know. I know how to mimic it, you know, like I do. I know how to mimic it. That's how much I just watched it all the time. That's a father and a daughter singing that. I just want you to know that shit. I just want you to know, man. That's a father and daughter singing that. Just remember that, guys. So anyway. Life is all kind of... Life is full of surprises, man. Because you never know what's around the other... You never know... What's around the other corner? You think you know, then you turn the other corner and say, Oh, what you doing here? And we go through that from time to time. And it's, it's, it's a weird atmosphere. But you, you know. But you deal with it. I'm going to put. Samantha. Which y'all see on my Google page. Don't put it all over the place. On RVT. I mean she's going to be all over the place. And what I'm happy about. Is the fact that it's shicing. Yeah that's what I'm saying sweetie. It's shicing and, and, she, and she's here. Give it, putting in the flavor. That we're looking for. So that makes everything all the more. It makes it all the more. And um. 
it didn't take me that long to do the outfit and everything. I'm not going to bring it on here because it's for cheese biscuits. Right, it's cheese biscuits, biscuits and gravy. And I feel as though I don't want to dog out on shows like this. This is just a prelude to what's coming up. You know, that's what this is. So sit back and enjoy the Rashi animation on tele on your screen there. And just remember that this is a prelude to what's to come, you know? So in other words, this is a preview. I think it's important that in the summertime and, and when the weather breaks, we should have good movies. They don't have it like that no more, but it used to be a time when every summer, yeah, it breaks me. Every summer we had good movies to come out. It, summertime was the time to release movies around summertime. No shit, no shit. It, it was like the summertime was the time the the movies that that we really want to see come out in the summertime. The best year got to be 1990. That got to be a good year. That was the best year for summertime. 1990 for the movies, I think, in my opinion. 1989 or 1990. One of those two. 1989, 1990. That was the best summer for movies. Because in that one, in that one summer, you had the Batman movie coming out. You had Ghostbusters uh, Part 2 coming out. You had Spike Lee Do the Right Thing coming out. You had... Yeah, all of these movies was coming out one summer. Batman. Ghostbusters 2. Spike Lee Do the Right Thing. And I can't remember the, the rest of uh, but it, all in one summer. I mean, Hollywood was hot. And then the thing about that is, here's the thing about that. Back then, well, I'm sure it was Ghostbusters. It was even, it was, I mean, I sure it was Do the Right Thing. I know it was Ghostbusters. It was the Ghostbusters of More Better Blues. No, it was, it was Do the Right Thing. It was Do the Right Thing. It was Do the Right Thing. Yeah, it was Do the Right Thing. Let's do the right thing, Ghostbusters 2, and uh, and Batman, Prince did the soundtrack for Batman. It was just a summer to be, I mean, that 1990, the year was 1990, 1989, that was the summer of all summers, dude. I mean, you had these movies coming out that you just had to see, it's like I got to see that. And well, what I was about to say is that... Back then, you didn't have, um, what's wrong, girl? Come here. Back then, you didn't have, um, celebrities acting the way they're acting right now. Like, all on a red carpet, all, like, any business and shit. You know, celebrity was, celebrities was just working for the more. They were just employed. They were working. It wasn't all this in a personal life bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So it gave the movies a better, a good vibe that we knew these actors, but we didn't want to know their personality or their their personal life because that would spoil the movies they make. You know, yeah, yeah, exactly. So it made the movies much better. Yeah. You know? So you had all that coming out in one fucking season, one fucking summer, and we saw all. I did. I saw all of them. I did. I saw all of them, yeah. I saw, uh, yeah, I was going to say I saw Batman was in Washington, D.C. Yeah, that's when we saw Batman. That's when uh, Batman was here. I saw that in Washington. My aunt took me away and shit. She said, you leaving? You coming home with me, dude. She was upstairs in my bedroom talking to me. They was downstairs drinking and everything. And I, she came upstairs and started talking to me. I mean, I got in a, a heavy discussion about some old fucking shit. And she said, you know what? You want to come home with me? 
I said, well, she said, yeah, I'm she took me right home with her to Washington, D.C. I was in Philly. This is the same summer and shit. That's how we were down there, and she took me to the movies to see Ghostbusters too. While I was down there, she treated me, you know, you know how you take, okay, I got my little nephew here, I'm going to take him out. I'm telling you, she was pretty, too. She was. She was. So she took me out. I went, to, I went down there. I had a concert there. I gave a concert. It was a surprise concert because back then I was singing and shit, playing the guitar and all this shit like that. So I, I sang, I did a little rap, it was singing and shit. And it was just awesome. You know, I had a nice time. Um, I sat up in front of the cable TV a lot because back then you sat up in, in, in cable TV and videotape everything and then took the videotape around to the projects and pass it around to people we have uh, cable so we got to see what was coming on it was on was hot was not we got to see all that because motherfuckers who had cable used to put a tape in there and record it and just let the shit run and then take it out and carry it with them just say here here's some tape for us and shit we were like, oh shit, so that's what I did. I made a couple of tapes like that. Because I went to Washington, D.C. and they didn't have cable TV. So I taped a lot of fucking shit. Dude. I taped like three tapes for them. I came back. Them niggas, them motherfuckers like, oh, Rod, you the man. So they was watching all kind of videos and stuff and shit. You know what I'm saying? So it was a nice time. Dude. It was a very, very exquisite time. And I can't just get that out of my head. I just can't ignore how it used to be. You know, I just can't. I just can't. So. Well, I had a concert and shit. I came back. And I was bragging because I had a concert. My first concert. One of my first concerts away, you know. I forgot what I say. Oh boy. I didn't know he was British. I re but now you look at him, he's British. Ain't that some fucking shit? Andy Cat, the guy with the hat that come down uh, and he has a big nose and he was in back of hot fries with um snacks. He's a British guy. He does look British with his hat like that, his clothes. Oh, he's British. Oh, Andy Cat, he's British. You just think everybody American, you know, when you're in this country and you see shit, automatic American, you be dead fucking wrong, dude. Y'all dig what I'm saying? Y'all dig all the knowledge I'm dropping on you guys? Me and my girlfriend, we got, well, not my girlfriend, but my manager. We got this argument because she was thinking like, why are you putting up that right there? That should be a cartoon and all that. Nah, ain't gonna be no fucking cartoon, dude. Ain't gonna be no fucking cartoon. This is just something I just did. Just did. You can't tell managers nothing, no, I tell you. I hope, sure hope y'all stay cool, because this hot weather is a pain in the ass. It's supposed to be getting cooler off now, though. I think the day they see was the last day. So hopefully it'll be getting cooler off, but, you know. They said by Tuesday. Oh, well. 
Make sure y'all take y'all medication so y'all don't stroke the fuck out and shit. Gotta make sure you take your medication. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Get tired shit. That's why y'all looking at that picture. That's my compound, man. That picture right there is my compound. You know? Cause you get so tired, you know. This heat, the heat, gets you so fucking tired. Like you don't want to do anything. You get lazy. You say, I don't want to. I just don't want to fuck around and do anything. This, you know, the heat just gets you so like that. It just gets you so fucking tired. <laughs> He's Cliff and Marvel who had a show together. He's Cliff and Marvel. Yeah, like that. You see that? Like that. That's all. You know. Yeah, exactly like that, sweetie. I was talking with my kid about something. Yeah. Exactly like that. I mean, oh, it's, you know. Um, yeah, man, yeah, so I'm excited about it, I feel as though, like I said before, I got, I gotta come on here and talk y'all ear off and shit, that's not what this is about, this is about having a fucking safe haven, you know guys, having a safe haven. How would I explain this at work? It was so straightforward with the animation and talking like back in the 80s. Almost like Little Girls. Yeah, almost like Little Girls was like in 1965 when they did a horror movie. She'd be like, I'm going to go upstairs. And it'd be, it'd be a little girl talking like that. They used to use the little girl voice in movies, you know. So it'd be a little girl... In the 1950s something movie, she said, like, Mommy, can I have some water? And mom be like, okay, yeah, come on, get some water. He'd be like, where's daddy coming home? And, and it'd be a little girl talking like that. You know? And, um... That's something you didn't notice. Until you got older and then you, like, think about it and say... Wow, you know, why they had little girls talking like that? They, uh, they, didn't, they didn't allow them to use their real voice. I'm falling asleep. 
Like I was saying, this weather, this hot weather, guys, gets you so fucking sleepy. It just gets you sluggish. It gets you. It get you. It get. It gets you. This don't want to do nothing. Dude, you know. Very very sluggish, dude. Very very sluggish. You know, at least I'm out here trying. You know, trying to have something for us to look at. Shit, because when that, when that, when you ain't got nothing to look at, this heat hits you. You falling over, you know. And I'm in front, of, I'm in front of a cool receiver right now. So. I don't know guys, I'm just trying to come up with something for us to, you know, talk about and do and, you know, I really don't have nothing to talk about because I got my mind on, um, Samantha, I got my mind on Thumbprint, the movie coming out soon, and a lot of things I'm thinking about, you know, and, uh, you know, You know, just trying my best to entertain you guys and talk about something while I'm here and I'll fall asleep. And I'll get my head in the, you know, shambles or whatever. So, you know, guys, um, I don't know, maybe I should just head out, because I don't have anything to talk about. Because I'm just, you know. So, just understand, guys. Uh, maybe I should just go off the air because, you know, I'm falling asleep anyway. And uh, I'm under cool conditions now. But I don't know if I lose these cool conditions. I would have never came on social media in the first place. So. I don't know, sweetie. I'm trying to figure this whole thing out. I'm trying to figure this whole thing out. Uh, if a lot of things on, on my mind, maybe, maybe I would be a better broadcaster. Now I gotta do me drinking. This is gonna be better than fucking shit. Whoever, who drinks out there? But you know, guys, I'm gonna go ahead because I'm I don't know what to say. I'm falling asleep and I got that shit up on the screen, and this hot weather ain't funny, and that's all. And I hope I I'll, I'll maybe I'll come on tomorrow. I'm working I'm working so much on other shit. I don't even know what the fuck going on. But hey, give me a break, okay? I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Not long ago, in a small town,
Yeah, like I was saying, looking for a new job won't solve a goddamn thing. Now, I've been at this job for three years. And it served me well within this time. Now, those ditches aren't for now. As long as you don't swim in the water, Raj. From the creator of Road, Forbidden Forest, and Rashi and the Beanstalk comes Rashi's newest creation. Hi Candy, two friends out for a night of fun. Only they quite didn't make it to the fun. Because something happened. We interrupt this program to bring you this RVT special news report. Now live from RVT headquarters, here's Michael Norway. Good morning, and capping off this special report in this hour, well it happened again, another UFO sighting, only this time, not only is it local, it's a tragic. Last night, just after 11 o'clock p.m., a young man left his job with a friend for a little leisure time, only to end up with one of them being, as he says, abducted by a UFO. Rashid, a dishwasher and floor keeper at the Sands Pub in Roch Villa, left the business with his friend Vincent, only sadly, Vincent, in Rashid's words, was abducted by the spacecraft. Now, while we don't have any specific information of what actually happened at Rusty Road, the case is under investigation as we speak. Over here, Rashid! Hey, Rashid, over here! Rashid, over here! Rashid, how you feeling? Everyone get back! Something just ain't right. What do you mean? Well, let's just say maybe I'm the suspicious sort. Maybe not, but Tom will tell. Follow me. Oh. You do believe me, don't you, Miss Beckingham? I know you for as long as I knew Vince, and I, I consider you both of you my son. Don't let me come from behind here. I swear to God, sir. Thumb. Do you believe? No. No, would you believe? Coming soon. Now you gonna tell us what happened or you gonna tell us the truth or not? I'm telling you what happened, okay? It, it, that's what happened. I can't change what happened. That's 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 Up uh, next on RVT, Rashid's Video Tube, it's the Rashid and Jan Show. Following that is Rashid Cyber 2. It's that season of all seasons once again. And as Shison lingers on, let us share and care and enjoy amazing Rashid entertainment that's found only here on RVT, where it's Rashid all the time.